Five reasons why carbs are your enemy. And the first reason being, carbs are your prime energy fuel source. So that is your go-to for your body to pretty much have sustainable energy throughout the day. Point number two, carbs drives your training performances. So you can optimize your carbs around your training in order to have more energy throughout your session. And let me tell you that if you have experienced the training without any carbs and with carbs, you would never go back to not in carbs prior to training. That's literally why I just ate that <laughs> bar a minute ago. I was like, I need to get some carbs in for leg day. Third reason being, when you have carbs, depending on whether you have your high or low GI carbs, that will determine how satiating that is. Generally, if you opt for your low GI carbohydrates, you're going to be fuller for longer. So rather than opting for snacks and not really having a full balanced meal, incorporate that complex carbohydrate such as like your potatoes and your rice, and that will actually give you the energy that will hopefully last all day and definitely have you feeling better overall. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling a bit sluggish, change up your carb source. Point number four, if you are cutting out carbs, chances are that you are under eating, AKA you're not in an optimal spot to recover properly. And also eating carbs at night is not evil. Actually, it is going to help not you to sleep better. Literally, carbs are life. Carbs Which are life. brings us to the last point being, it's carbs are life. Carbs are life. Carbs are life. <laughs> carbs are life. I don't know anyone who actually enjoys not eating carbs. Like no. truth. Fully. It's everything from like social events to just like, you know, enjoyment of food because we want to enjoy our food and you don't need to be afraid of carbs. It's not going to be making you fat. Carbs are not the enemy. As we just named, there's so many benefits to having them and you're actually be doing yourself a disservice by eliminating them. And there's so many nutrient dense carbohydrate sources out there that are not necessarily bad foods. And just to give you an information, one gram of carbs is four calories. One gram of protein is four calories. One gram of fat is nine calories, which means that they're not worse than any other macronutrients, if that makes sense. And also for your information, one gram of alcohol is seven calories. So if you have to get on something, <laughs> get on the that, alcohol. Yeah, I was about to say, that's technically where you should be probably yeah. reducing. My point is that if you go on a keto diet and you get rid of all the carbs, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to lose fat because you could still be on a calorie surplus by eating purely fats purely protein yeah you could put on fat by eating just meat you could put on fat by eating too much avocado so it's all about being aware about your overall intake yeah but carbs itself are not gonna make you fat and if you eat three croissants per day and that's all you eat chances are that you'll still be on a calorie deficit and that you'll be losing weight you'll probably be losing mostly muscles as well but yeah <laughs> not optimal but they're not evil all right, so what is your favorite carb sauce? We know you love carbs, so mm -hmm. let us know in the comments below. Yep! Yeah.